1914, World War I officially broke out in Europe. It was supposed to be the war to end all wars. But after three years of ongoing warfare, the fighting between the Central and Allied powers had reached a stalemate. The United States officially entered the war in support of the Allies in April 1917. However, the U.S. had not fought in any conflict since the late 1800s, and wartime technology had changed drastically. They needed soldiers, they needed training, and most importantly, they needed a place to do it. That place proved to be Charlotte, North Carolina. When word got around that the Army needed boot camps to train new recruits from all across the country, local Chamber of Commerce President David Evans jumped at the opportunity to bring the booming war industry to Charlotte, a small textile town. Oven sold the Queen City as the perfect destination, highlighting its available land, agreeable climate, and established railroad infrastructure. Once Charlotte won the bid to host the training facility, construction began immediately on what would become Camp Green. It only took six weeks to erect the initial structures and welcome the first batch of troops to the western side of Charlotte, according to historian Edward S. Purzell. The camp sat just outside of the city center near modern-day Wilkinson Boulevard and eventually expanded all the way to the Catawba River. Canvas tents, wooden barracks, stables, a hospital, a post office, a mess hall, an artillery range, an airfield, and miles upon miles of red clay ripe for digging trenches. Camp Green was a city within a city. According to Herbert White for Our State magazine, Camp Green had more than 60,000 soldiers living on base during its peak activity. Those soldiers ranged from voluntary recruits to newly drafted teenagers, and they came from a variety of backgrounds. In addition to soldiers, there were doctors, nurses, cooks, and other essential workers who contributed to Camp Green's success. After 16 weeks of training and unexpectedly harsh winter conditions, the 41st Infantry Division became the first to leave Camp Green for France, where they joined up with the American Expeditionary Forces. Eventually, World War I came to an end on November 11, 1918, and Camp Green gradually started to disappear. Tents were disassembled, trenches were filled, various buildings were torn down, and the land returned to civilian use. Now, the only remaining building from Camp Green is the historic Dowd family farmhouse, which was used as the camp's headquarters from 1917 to 1918. Although Camp Green's history is short, the facility played an essential role in the First World War. Tens of thousands of veterans came through the camp on their way to Europe. So, on this Veterans Day, we recognize the men and women of Camp Green and their contributions to an Allied victory in World War I. Happy Veterans Day.